So I want to come to Jammu and Kashmir. In Jammu and Kashmir, the NDA is projected to have about 49% of the vote share. That's up three from the last time. Uh, remember that a lot of this vote share for the BJP actually comes from the Jammu region, right? Uh, the India Alliance, which is uh, Congress plus NC plus potentially PDP as well, at 36. That's down three from the last time. Others at 15. Converted into seats, uh, Yashwant and his team are projecting that the NDA will be at 2, which is where they were last time. Uh, the India Alliance, which is all these three parties together, will be at 3. So basically the Valley seats going to the India Alliance, the Jammu seats, regardless of what happens in the Jammu region, uh, going to uh, the BJP. From there, let's come to Ladakh, where we saw a big protest recently, but despite that, uh, Yashwant and his team are projecting that Ladakh will be with the NDA. Uh, from there, let's now come to Haryana, uh, 10 seats in Haryana. The NDA Alliance, uh, the NDA, which is BJP and JJP in Haryana, now expected to come down from 10 to 8, a loss of 2. Uh, the Congress, which lost even Rotak last time, expected to go up from 0 to 2, up to. Now, what makes you think that that is going to happen, given the fact that there is a 12% vote share gap, 50 plays 38 in Haryana, uh, Haryana, uh, Haryana don't count the vote share gaps as such you, because you remember that Haryana assembly election out of the fact that BJP was having a te almost 10% gap lead over the uh, BJP, I kind of predicted that BJP will sweep but it became a hung. Where on earth did you find that a party with a lead of 10% votes and still ended up in a hung assembly in Haryana? So there are two different kinds of Haryanas. Let's be very uh, uh, upfront about it. <laughs> you know, there, there are two different Haryanas. And it's not regional. It's about the demographics of different seats. And, and, they, and the seats where it would be a JAT dominated seats, they will be problematic for the BJP. The non-JAT seats would be easier for the BJP to so win. Let's come to Himachal. Himachal is the one uh, state we haven't dealt with uh, in the north yet. Himachal, 69% vote share for the BJP last time. This spine expected to be 60% down 9. Uh, the Congress at 27, expected to go up to 29. Remember, uh, in Himachal, uh, of the four seats, they are predicting that the BJP will pick all four, the India Alliance none. The government in Himachal Pradesh at this time is the Congress government of Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu. Despite that, the Congress makes no gains in the Lok Sabha election in Haryana. Uh, then the last state is Uttarakhand, where they are predicting just a small dip in the NDA's fortune when it comes to vote share. From 61, to 59 down two India Alliance at 32 up one but when it comes to seats all five seats predicted to go to the BJP you know therefore when you look at the big picture uh, from the first region that we've looked at and this is if you're a t20 match and it's power play and you've just finished six uh, six overs of the 20 think of North India like this the projected seat share across North India first the vote share across North North India NDA 52% India Alliance 38%, others 10 That's a 14% double-digit gap. And that includes, remember, Punjab, where the BJP is relatively uh, smaller in terms of its vote share. How does this translate into seats, Rahul? And I think this is the story. And this has been the story not just now, but also 2014 and 2019. 154 of the 180 seats, as per the mood of the nation, done by C voter, go to the NDA 25 to India Alliance. And remember, of this 25, majority again coming in from Punjab. Effectively, Rahul, that means it's almost game set, if not match, just when you look at the North Indian numbers. I mean, it is almost impossible then for any side to match up uh, when you lose so big uh, in such a large part of the country. And it's been the Northwest monsoon that has really won the BJP we, 2014 and 19. We haven't come to the West yet. You've seen That's the right. northern torrential downpour in favor of the BJP. We'll show you what's happening in the East and what's cooking around the Bay of Bengal uh, in the East and what's happening in the West along the Arabian Sea. So all that coming up in the second hour of programming. We've dealt with the North where if this was, Rajdeep said, a T20 match, you know, this is one-way traffic in this T20 match. You've got one team which is blazing away. Six overs, 100 runs. Huh? Six overs, 100 runs. 14 runs and over or 15 runs and over. Which, you know, really makes it almost impossible you know, to come back. And the thought that's coming to my mind, you know, there you see my election intelligence dashboard working. So many great ideas, so many different data sets which we are cutting and dissecting and diving. I'm wondering what's the point. If it's all pointing in the same direction, then this is there's going to be a lot of effort which won't really yield too much results. But anyway, unlike the opposition.
we need to fight on we need to bring uh, all those data sets together for you